Hi everyone, this is Dr. Shweta and today I want to discuss about five elite inventors from all across the globe. Alongside being path breaking, their respective inventions were also immensely lucrative. But before we begin, I request all my new viewers to subscribe our channel IP Jagruti because we bring content related to intellectual property rights, technology and lot around it. So it's my genuine request because you subscribe, I get motivated to bring more, lot more content related to this field. So let's start. The first name in the list today is Jerome H. Lemelson. Jerome, also known as the patent king and Zeri, was an American engineer, inventor and patent holder. The patent king has around 605 patent in his bucket, costed companies around the world somewhere around dollar 1.5 billions in licensing fees. So now the question is, so what did Jerry actually invented that he earned so much through licensing? His portfolio covers big names. The list include an amazing array of corporation, old economy stalwart like Alcoa, Boeing, Dow Chemicals, Eli Lilly and GE, manufacturing industries like Ford, GM and US Steels. Technology titans like IBM, HP and Cisco. The portfolio of products covered over the year by Jerry's patent is equally staggering. They include component in such everyday consumer products such as the Walkman, VCR, fax machine and the camcorders. Lemelson's first major invention evolved utilizing a universal robot for the use in a variety of industrial system that could do numerous actions such as welding, moving and measuring products. He wrote a 150 page application which he submitted for his first patent on what he termed machine vision in 1954. Part of these automated warehousing system he licensed to the Trix Corporation in 1964 and then he never stopped. I will be putting Lemelson's story in description box and also bringing his complete story in my next video because this person is someone who is actually to be discussed. Now I actually wanted to discuss Lemelson personal life, how he worked. He was actually described as a workaholic and he spent 12 to 14 hours a day writing up his idea, often time is spending as much as 18 hours a day tinkering. His notebooks in which he wrote those ideas down numbered in the thousand. Jerry's younger brother said that when he and Jerry were roommates in college, after they would go to sleep, the light would go on several times during the night and Jerry would write something down. In the morning, Jerry's brother would read and witness the several inventions that Jerry had conceived of that previous night. His brother stated, this happened every night, seven days a week. Jerry died in 1997 after a one year battle with life cancer. In the final year of his life, he never stopped. He applied for 40 more patents. The second on the list today is Kia Silverbrook, holding around 4,747 US patent as of 2021. Australian born Silverbrook is one of the most profilic inventors of all the time. A majority of Silverbrook's invention are of advances in computer printing, inkjet, digital papers. But his patent cover more areas than that and a range from 3D printing to DNA analysis to nanotechnologies. Once an employee of research subsidiary of Canon, Silverbrook left the Japanese firm in 1994 to establish his own research development and licensing company. We have just discussed two inventors and you can find out the inventions in thousands and thousands and the licensing fees or the technology transfer fees which they have earned is in billions. Now, the third on the list is Shunpai Yamazaki. Securing patent for what seems like an endless stream of inventions for more than 40 years, Yamazaki held 5,807 US patents in 2021. His inventions include a method of producing cold nuclear fusion and an integrated circuit chips of glass widely used in electronics and computer applications. Nonetheless, he is the president and founder of Semiconductor Energy Laboratories, a research and development firm in Tokyo. Next on the list is Donald Weder. 
Floral and decorative packing are American born welders main creative focus and he reportedly holds 1400 US patents. Welders Highland Supply Company, a small enterprise that he inherited from his father, is now a major player in the floral industry. As a result of Younger's welder managerial skills and inventions, although welder's inventions relating to floral pots, flower paper, uh, method of wrapping and packaging are not as innovative or transformative as iPad, but they help providing the funding for his philanthropic welder family trust. The trust, along with Highland Supply, has sponsored the preservation of timberlands and the planting of more than 1 lakh trees. Last on the list is Paul Lapston. Paul Lapston owns or co-owns with his colleague Skia Silverbrook along uh, around, I would say, 1298 US patents. Among his inventions are wide format inkjet printers and a device that permits sending and receiving of the emails. But only if the sender pauses a special enabling business card. So here comes the end of describing the five inventors and how much they have earned through their patent. One trick which I told that I'll discuss in the last is that these inventors focused on the problem of related industries and they actually tried to solve those problems. Solving those problems has actually made them inventing related product or processes for those industries which actually help them to license their product in the related industries and earn a lot of money. This is why it is called a patent is not just a document or a legal certificate but actually a machine for you where you can generate lot of revenue for yourself for investing in the future research. So this was all about patents, inventors and revenue. I will request all my viewers to subscribe who have not subscribed, please subscribe our channel and if there is any query, you can mention in the comment section, we will be describing more inventors in the description link. You can learn about individual inventors and their efforts and their revenue. Thank you so much for watching IP Jagruti.